Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scran Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make my Irish Gold Rush cupcakes. So this is the first of two St. Patrick's Day recipes I'm going to show you guys this year. Uh, just before we get stuck into it though, I want to say a thank you to all of you for all of the lovely birthday wishes in two videos ago. You guys loved that cupcake so much. Um, so I absolutely loved reading all of your lovely messages. Um, I tried to reply to as many as I could. Sometimes it gets difficult. I mean, I, I spent an hour replying back to messages <laughs> and there's just so many of you. Anyway, thank you for the lovely birthday wishes. On to this recipe. So these are my Irish Gold Rush cupcakes. So we have a green velvet cupcake, which is basically like my red velvet, but with green in it. We've got some Bailey's buttercream frosting, so Irish cream, which is like kind of coffee-ish and really delicious. We've also got some honeycomb on top. I'm gonna to show you guys how to make that. Let's get stuck into it. These are the ingredients you need to make them. Okay guys, so to make these Irish Gold Rush cupcakes, start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. The ingredients you're going to need are eggs, bicarb soda, Irish cream liqueur, or you can use coffee in its place if you don't want to use liqueur, sugar, golden syrup, or you can use honey, cocoa powder, baking powder, bicarb soda, plain flour, buttermilk, oil, more sugar, liquid green food dye or gel food dye. I'll leave the recipe for these Irish Gold Rush cupcakes in the description box below for you guys to follow. And as usual guys, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest episodes. We're gonna start off by making our honeycomb. So pop all of your sugar and golden syrup in there and give that a quick stir until the sugar is dissolved. Then just let it boil away for about five to six minutes until it gets a little bit deeper in color. Meanwhile, spray your tin with some oil spray and line it with some baking paper. Take your pot off the stove Add your bicarb soda and give that a good mix and a quick stir. Now this will froth up so you want to make sure you have a pot big enough. Once you can see it starting to froth up, let it froth up for a little while before you pour it into your prepared baking tray. Once you've got it all in there, you want to set it aside. You can either put it in the fridge or leave it out and you want to let it cool down and harden completely. Moving on to our cupcakes. Pour all of your dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl and mix those on low speed until everything is well combined. While that's mixing, you can add your buttermilk to a jug along with your eggs oil, vanilla extract, and your green food dye, and whisk those up. Pour your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients in a slow and steady stream until everything is in there. Then you can stop your mixer, scrape down the bowl, and mix for a final 20 seconds. We're gonna scoop these into our cupcake liners, filling them up about halfway. Pop them into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. And you can pop them aside on a cooling rack to cool down completely before you frost them. While your cupcakes are baking and cooling, you can prepare your buttercream frosting by adding some Irish cream to it and mix it until everything is well combined. We're gonna core the center of these and fill them up with some chocolate sauce. I'm using a 6B star tip to frost these cupcakes in a donut swirl. And we're gonna finish these off with a good chunk of honeycomb nuggets. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my Irish Gold Rush cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe button is down there. 
The recipe is going to be on my website, thescrainline.com, or I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to follow. My last video is over there for you guys to watch, so click on that for more deliciousness. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrain Line.